I'm Andrew McNeese. I've been working with Ricky Linhart, Jason Sagers, and Preston Wilson to design a simplified approach to building a homemade Edison tinfoil phonograph, as you can see here. This device was developed for the education and acoustic session for the 161st Acoustical Society of America meeting. This device contains many key features of Edison's original design, which allows users to record and play back their own voice without using any electrical components. One of the key features of this device is the mouthpiece, which contains a diaphragm and stylus. Now when users speak into the back of the mouthpiece, it causes the diaphragm and stylus to vibrate. You'll also notice that we have the mouthpiece mounted on a rotating arm, which allows us to move the mouthpiece in and away from a grooved mandrel. This grooved mandrel is attached to a threaded rod and handle, which allows users to move the mandrel in a lateral manner when recording. Jason Sagers is going to join me to help walk us through the steps of recording and playing back her voice. Now the first step is to take foil and wrap around the mandrel. Next I'm going to apply a small amount of oil to the surface of the foil to reduce the scratching sound that occurs when we make a recording. We're now set to make an audio recording. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Now all we need to do is swing the arm back, rewind the track, and we can play it back. And there you have an Edison homemade tinfoil phonograph.